If you play Hong Kong Mahjong, you can practice with decision making by doing something I call random pulls. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. We'll do four random pulls, starting with east round. Then we'll move on to south, west, and north. Let's also roll the dice to kind of randomize which seat we're in. So let's just say we're in seat five, which would be east. So I'm just gonna put up uh, one on the dice to remind us that we're in east seat and it's east round. So for the dealer, we get 14 tiles. We'll say that we need a three fawn minimum. This is a really nice start for a half flush. Half flush is one suit with winds and dragons. We have a pair of west here, even though that is not the seat wind or the wind of the round, wind of the round is east. This will still help us get to a half flush. So we have a pair, these are isolated. We'd need to pair those up if we're gonna use them. Then we have here a potential chow Here's a potential pung and a potential chow. One, two, three, four blocks. We need a pair in here maybe. This is a really nice start. I would discard these. Even though there's chow potential right here, if we were to chow this, it would drive this score down by three. I think I would definitely play a half flush here. Pung, chow, 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 pair one of those. That would be my plan here. If you would do something different, let me know. So we're gonna go to south round. And let's just say we're in seat five. That would be one again. So if this is south round and we are seat one, we have a two, three, two. So these flowers wouldn't give us any score. We can get some replacements though. So if we need to get three fawn, this is gonna be a rough road to haul because we have an equal number of BAMs and dots. I think what I would probably try to do here, since we have only one honor, I think I would try to play all chow and hope for my own flower or play defense because here we have a potential chow, potential chow, here is a chow, here's a chow, and there's a chow. All we need is a pair. We have one, two, okay, th these are isolated. So I would discard the red and probably this nine crack. So we have one, two, three, four blocks, and then we would need a pair in here. So because we have these flowers that are not our seat wind, we would need to draw one flower. So that's a bit of a, a risky plan, but I think for this hand, if I didn't get my own flower, I would just play defense. I suppose we could throw the nine crack in the red and see if either the bams or dots came in and play one suit, but that would be a long shot. So I think all chow, hopeful flower or defense. If you would do something different on this one, let me know. This time, let's say we're in seat six. 
seat six is south. Two, four, six, so that I'm going to put up a two. And we are in west round. So seat two, west round. Four flower. That's not the flower for seat two. So if we're going to come up with three fawn, I think I would try for all pung. We have a pung right there, and here's a, a potential pung. We have mostly dots with honors. So I think I would throw the nine crack first, hold the seven crack for as long as possible, try to pair these up because we could potentially sacrifice these and go for a half flesh. But I think, um, all pung, which is three of a kind, that would be three fawn, and we would meet the minimum with that. Not only that, but we do have a west, and that is the wind of the round. And we have a south, which is our seat wind. So if we pair either of those up, we could get a fawn for those, and uh, any pung of white dragon, or any dragon for that matter, is a fawn. So there's some potential there, Singles will do us no good though. We have to pair them up so that we could pung. So throw the nine, start by throwing these, draw in dots, honors, hold these as long as possible. If you would do something different for this one, write it in the comment section. Seat 11. So if north is 8, 9, 10, 11 is west. And it is north round. No flowers. So here we have mostly dots with winds there. But we do have a pair here, pair, pair. I think I'd try for all pung here. We would just need two more pair to make that work. And that's three fawn, all pung. That's what I would try there. I think again, I would go ahead and discard these first, hold these as long as possible. If I drew in dots and honors, paired these up, I would sacrifice the three band and try for a half flesh too. So hold those as long as possible, discard these, keep dots and honors. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. It's a really great way to get to know the scoring and to practice decision making when you first get your hand. Stay flexible though, just because you pick a direction doesn't mean you have to stick to it. Just draw by draw, exposure by exposure, whether they're yours or your opponents, you just make decisions along the way and try to win first. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss any opportunities to learn a new strategy or maybe pick up an inside of the game that'll give you an advantage at the table between now and the next random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. May all your picks be keepers.